guys, Eat of Essentials here. The first DIY for today is going to be a petite glam table. I'll be starting off with trays that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'll be gluing two trays together. But before that, I'm going to make holes inside the trays with a soldering iron. And these holes will make it easier for me to pass the doll through it. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. After a few hours, it was okay for me to continue with the project. I made 10 of these. And I'll use one single tray at the top making it 21 trays in total. Now this is the wooden doll that I'll be using that I cut to the length that I want. And then I also picked up plaques from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be attaching two plaques together and then attaching the doll to the plaques. I took it out and then I spray painted it silver. Now I'm going to be attaching string lights to it that uses a remote. I'm doing this because the trays are transparent so that way I'm going to have lighting inside the table. The next thing I'll do is stack up all the trays together using a strong glue. I started with a Dollar Tree glue, but that didn't work out so well. So I'm going to finish up stacking up the remaining trays using this. I got this adhesive from Home Depot. For the top, I cut leftover wood that I have to the size that I want and then I also cut out the same size on a foam board. I glue them all together. And then later, I will attach it to the dowel that I have in the middle of the table. I covered up the edges with mirror mosaic tiles. I'll recommend using three dolls on a stronger plaque at the bottom for better stability. The table was looking bare, so I added cutouts from Dollar Tree plates to it. I cut them to smaller pieces and glued them to the lip of the trays. And then I covered the open spaces with large and small gems. I forgot to mention earlier that I also attached the upper plate to the board that's on top with screws. Moving on to the second DIY project, and it's going to be your teardrop wall decor. I'm going to be using a trifle board that I got from the Dollar Tree and drawing lines 
where I can make the shape that I want on them. Then I drew a shape of a teardrop, but just half of it, cut it out, and then I folded it just to make sure that I get the exact same shape on the other side. I will continue tracing out the patterns on the remaining strips. The cutouts are not strong at all, so I'll be gluing craft sticks that I got from the doll tree at the back. For the mirror effect, I'll be cutting out the shapes from Dollar Tree trays. I'll be attaching them with double-sided tape. I'm doing this because if I use a hot glue gun, it might melt the middle part of the cutout trays just a bit, but it will be noticeable. So because of that, I'll be using double-sided tape to hold them to the pattern. I want something unique and different for the outer lines. So because of that, I'll be using parchment papers and placing it on top of the pattern, drawing out the shape. But first, I'm going to label them. It is really important to label the shapes so that after the pattern has been gotten, you won't mix it up. Now I'm drawing out the pattern on a parchment paper because I'll be using a hot glue gun to trace out the shape. After tracing the pattern, I removed the shape from the bottom and then I traced it out with a hot glue gun. When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it gold. When it was dry, I brought it back in and these come off so easy. Now remember the labeling. Whatever number you have on each of the glued pattern should be the same one that you attach to the one that you labeled with the same number. I'm saying this because being human, all the patterns are not gonna come out exactly the same. My glue lines are not straight, and that was intentional because I didn't want a straight line. I wanted mine to have some kind of texture. And I love the way it turned out. Here's the inspiration photo for this project. 
I'll be attaching what I made with this adhesive and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I used masking tape to give me an idea of where I want to hang it before I started mounting it on the wall. This is what it looks like on the wall. And I used Dollar Tree items to achieve this. I also made the table that you see there. And the link for that is also going to be in the description box below. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.